what's up people video game xd back with another video yep. i did a little shopping at walmart walmart's okay sometimes they can bug me other times but i like their electronic section they got yeah. some good good deals um gamestop that's rare for me hmm. and um i found a movie at media reload i don't think i showed it off so i'm going to show it off I also picked up a poster on eBay and I framed it. Got yeah. the frame from Walmart. The poster looks amazing. It's nice, yeah. <coughs> and um, but here's the games I picked up. First off, uh, my stepson gave me this for the Xbox 360 for a dollar ninety nine. FIFA fourteen. So I do like some of the soccer games; they're pretty fun. I think I own FIFA twelve or thirteen. Yeah. But I did not own fourteen. He just gave it to me. He doesn't have a 360 anymore, so he didn't care for it. So that's cool, Jaden. Thank you yeah. for the game. Uh, it is complete. And the disc is actually pretty decent. So FIFA 14, that's pretty cool. Yeah. This is the movie I got at Media Reload. I think I only paid two bucks. Um, on DVD, it is Dangerous Minds. That's a great movie. With Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah, that's a real good movie. A.K.A. Catwoman. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, there's actually a spoof movie of this. It's called High School High with, what's his name? John Lo Lovitz, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. That was hilarious. That's, that is a good movie, It's yeah. like a scary movie version of this. But this was a classic. This was also the movie that made the song um, Gangsta's Paradise by Coolio famous. Yep. So, I remember every time I see this movie, that's what I think of the Coolio song. Yep. But it's a pretty good movie. It's a it's considered a nineties classic. Uh, two bucks. I did not have it surprisingly, yeah. so that's pretty cool. All right, all of these are Switch games because I just got a Switch, so I gotta right beef up my Switch <laughs> collection. On the Nintendo Switch, I got this for twenty bucks. Uh, I guess it's new because it's sealed, even though it was in a plastic box or whatever plastic case. Because they used to have a used section at Walmart. I don't know if they're considered used anymore because it looks like they're sealed. But uh, for 20 bucks, Street Fighter, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary. Love this game. <clears throat> yeah, the classic Street Fighters were great. I mean, yep. Street Fighter 2 is considered the best. But then there's also a Street Fighter 2 Turbo and then fucking Hyper Fighting and then a bunch of other ones. There was a Street Fighter 3 and never, I don't know, I didn't care for it as much. But you know what? My favorite was actually Alpha 3. Alpha 3 was like the, to me, the ultimate old school Street Fighter experience with like, like so many characters are in that game. It's like their version of like Mortal Kombat trilogy in a way, I guess. I just really liked Alpha 3. I remember playing the living hell out of Alpha 3 on the original PlayStation and my hands would just, I'd just go crazy, just button mashing. Like, yeah. I played the heck out of Alpha 3. But, um, yeah, this is awesome. It comes with Street Fighter the original, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2. I don't know. That's weird. It just says Street Fighter 2. Huh. Well, you got Hyper Fighting, Super Street Fighter 2, the new challengers, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Yeah, there's a million of them. Wow. Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Street Fighter 3, the third, uh, no, the new generation, Street Fighter 3, Second Impact. You get all of them? You can tell they milk the fuck out of Street Fighter. Yeah, you get them all. And Street Fighter 3, Third Strike. Wow. So it's one to four players. So if you like the old school Street Fighters, you have to have this in your collection. That's a great deal. Mm hmm 20 bucks. Originally it came out, it was like 40 or 60. That's like 12 games in one. Yep. And I love the old school Street Fighters. I mean, I had to get it. I had uh, I played it on the Xbox One. I really liked it, but I wanted it on the Switch. Yeah. Street Fighter kicks ass. <clears throat> All right. For 30 bucks at GameStop, but you can get this cheaper on eBay, of course, 20 but I wanted it brand new. I just said, screw it. I'll go to GameStop. <laughs> I don't know. GameStop. It's like I go in there and they harass, not harass me, but they follow me around. Would you like to 
subscribe for this do you need any help i get it that's their job but it's like can i just come in here and buy a game and mm. like no i don't want the the power rewards card i barely shop here i just wanted to pick this up it's like i want to have a good experience but it's like i get it that's their job but i feel like everywhere else i don't get that kind of experience like when i go to disc replay when i go to walmart i don't have them hounding me the whole time and then right. i go to buy it would you like to do this and do it? It's like they might just say hi, you know, if you need any help, let me know, or you look at anything in particular. Yeah, it's but like, then they just kind of leave you be. Yeah, but anyways, like I'm not gonna bash GameStop right now. It's just uh, for the Nintendo Switch for thirty at GameStop. Saints Row the Third, the total package. That looks cool too. This game is great. Probably my favorite modern video game ever made. Really? This game was like, if you like Grand Theft Auto, you've, you've never played it? No, I've never played it. Imagine Zero. Grand Theft Auto, but way more wacky. Like, you can do everything you can in GTA, but more, like, in a way. It's more arcadey. You can even find, like, dildos in the game. <laughs> Black people with dildos. And yeah, we're it's playing that. It's crazy. <laughs> and um, I heard you can play it online. But it only says one player. That's weird. I could have swore this was online. I don't know. It's weird. But uh, yeah. It's an open world game. I love it. I beat this game, I think, twice. Because I loved it so much. I just I would play this game non-stop on the PS3. And I really liked it. A lot of people say Saints Row 2 was their favorite and the best. But I disagree. I think Saints Row 3 was everything 2 was. But more and more wacky. You can actually, like do a lot more in this one than you could in uh two but i really like two still but i still think this is my favorite personally and then there's saints row four which i did not like it was thing is this is like a mix between wackiness and saints row two it's kind of a mix between both right and it has a good balance whereas saints row four just extreme ridiculous just wacky to the like superhero powers and all this I don't know, I thought that one was weird. It was a little too weird for me, a little too over the top. But this one was like a mix of both. Hmm. So I really like 3. Third, this game was fucking great. If you haven't played this game, fucking play it. Because you will fucking have a blast if you're into these style of games. Right. So for 30, yeah, I got it on the PS3. I got it on 360. Oh, yeah. I fucking, like, I'll buy it for any console. That's how much I like this game. So um, I heard this one... It looks okay in 720p, but I heard 1080p, I heard the 360 version actually is better than this, which is crazy because this is supposed to be a remaster, yet the 360 version performs better. What the fuck? Right, that was kind of strange. I know the Switch is like a lower powered console compared to other systems, but for a, a remaster, whatever it's supposed to be, you would think it would be perform better, but I don't know, I guess it That's what IGN says. Fuck IG, and I'm not even going to take their opinion. <laughs> Saints Row 3, 30 bucks, but you can get it on eBay for 20 Right. Or at least like 25 Alright, uh, I got this at Walmart. Now, in store, said it was 40 bucks. right? I go online, walmart.com, it said it's 20 online. So I bought it online. I did an in-store pickup, so I just drove there. It was already there. 20 bucks. Good deal. Yeah. <laughs> I do have this on Xbox One, but I really, really liked it, so I wanted it on the Switch because handheld. It is PGA Tour 2K21. Yeah, that looks good, too. Uh, I liked all these games. The Golf Club games. Even 19 was good and everything, but it was very difficult because there was no like meter to show you where you're supposed to hit or whatever. This actually has one of those meters, and it actually... You know, it kind of holds your hand and it shows you where you're, you know, you're, to me, all golf games should have some kind of meter enabled or option, you know, optional. Because I'm not like amazing at golf games. I want to actually see my accuracy where I'm supposed to hit and blah, blah, blah. And this was just a lot more easier to play in my opinion. And I really liked it. The graphics were great. Yeah, the graphics were good. This is probably the best golf game on the market right now. Back in the day, it was uh, Tiger Woods. Not anymore. That shit's dead. But uh, PGA Tour 2K21. Yeah. 20 bucks. And, uh, yeah. 
That's a good deal. Can't wait to try that out. Yeah. And, oh, the poster. Yeah. Last but not least. So I actually bought a Terminator poster. It's over there. I forgot to show it off last time, but maybe in a future video I'll show it off. But here it is, you guys. I framed it and everything. Bam, check that out. Batman Forever, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a good movie. I love this movie. Val Kimmer, Jim Carrey, Tommy Lee Jones, baby. It was a classic. I grew up with this movie as a kid. This was actually the movie that got me into Batman. Like, some people hate on it, you know. I think that's going to be any movie, though. Some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it. it just doesn't well, matter. they sit there. He had bat nipples. They showed his butt and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that was a little over the top. But I felt like Batman and Robin did it even worse. Yeah. Job at that. And people compare this to Batman and Robin. To me, it was way better than Batman and Robin. Say yeah. what you want about Batman and Robin. But this forever was not bad. It had emotion in it. It had comedy. It made you like, wow, like, you know what I mean? My favorite was Jim Carrey. He just has such a... Yeah, like, Jim Carrey is the Riddler. He was, like, psychotic. Yeah. And, like, he fucked with, like, I loved him. I even liked Two-Face, Tommy Lee Jones. Mm -hmm. They did a great job. Even Val Kimmer. Yeah, he's no uh, Michael Keaton, but as a Batman, I thought he he was good. He was entertaining. Bruce Wayne, he was okay. But I thought it was good. I liked it. I loved Batman Forever. Fuck you if you don't like Batman Forever, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, but Returns and Forever and the video games is what got me into Batman. So maybe if it wasn't for Batman Forever, I don't know. Yeah, nowadays Batman's more dark and serious. But I liked Forever because it was a mix of both. It felt like it could be a dark, serious movie. Yeah. Like when Tommy, um, when uh, Tommy Lee Jones killed Bat, uh, Bat, no, Robin's family in the circus or whatever. Uh, that was a dark, fucked up moment. But then, you know, it could be goofy, too, showing Batman's nipple, you know, at the beginning with his ass or whatever. So it could be dark. It could be, you know, it had right. a mix of everything. That's why I liked Forever. Uh, the games were pretty shitty, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even care. Really good Batman games. Forever on the Genesis, it was pretty shitty. I like it because, once again, nostalgia. Yeah. But those games were pretty bad. Returns, though, on the Super Nintendo, that was a good one. But yeah, um, 16 bucks on eBay. It was actually brand new, rolled up, brand new poster. Yeah. And I got the frame for 20 at Walmart. Right. But yeah. I love it. I'm about to hang that on my wall. Yeah, sweet. But that was all my grabs, you guys. Yeah. Oh, and other news. Yeah. Kiss tickets. The end of the road tour, Kiss. <laughs> I bought tickets, you yeah. guys. I've never seen Kiss, ever. Me neither. She's never even been to a concert. Never I'm even like, been to what? one. what? <laughs> this is going to be her first concert, yeah. Kiss. We're going in Clarkston, Super excited. Clarkston, Michigan, DTE. Yeah. Uh, I believe it's September 1st. So yeah, September 1st. It's going to be great, you guys. I've been a Kiss fan since I was a kid. I'm like, you know what? i got to see them. Like I've always wanted to. I always thought like tickets would be like $300. No, they're only like 50 bucks. Yeah, I would assume they would be a lot higher too, especially for being Kiss, because they're pretty wide known, you know. And a lot of people are like, well, they've done like 10 end of the road tours. Is this <laughs> going to be the actual final tour? I think so, because now they're in like 60s, going towards 70s, I think. Yeah. Like, they're getting up there in age. I really think this is going to be the, l the last one. Like, yeah. So you got to see them now while you can, because... Kiss ain't going to be around forever, so they're getting up there in age. Yeah. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow us on Twitter, follow us on Twitch, like us on Facebook, and you know the rest until we. Jennifer. Peace.